beautiful souls and welcome to Divine Empowerment with Radiant Goddess Susie. Now, before I get started, I just want to say that um, this is a collaborative effort um, between me and the Mind Me Project or aka Fonda White. Um, but, you know, we're going to start doing these uh, podcasts um, just to check in with the mental health of our audience and each other, you know, um, being friends, it's, it's important to have people that you can check in with and your mental health, um, especially nowadays, like we have, everybody has so much going on. Um, so I am going to allow Fonda or give Fonda the floor, the opportunity to introduce himself and his mission, um, because we share this, this passion for mental health. And, um, you know, just wanting to see men and women um, be comfortable in their mental health ch challenges and know that they can thrive beyond anything that they have experienced in their past. So without further ado, hey, Fonda. <laughs> How you doing? <clears throat> yes, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. My name is Fonda White, uh, I guess CEO, founder of the Mind Me Project. It, it stands for My Illness Never Defines Me. Uh, because I'm like, like Sue said, I'm just such an advocate for mental health and helping individuals that deal with their own mental health issues as well. So um, also, I do a podcast where I interview people as well. Uh, also a speaker and, and a musician or rapper, whatever you want to call it, and a writer, you know, so uh, but everything involves around mental health. And yeah, like Sue said, there's a lot of people struggling and we're here to help. So we're, here to, we're here to check in. <laughs> yeah, we're here to check in. So um, let's check in. How you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, I was about to ask you the same thing. Um, I'm good, but I do have like, you know, like we talked about before, like people with dealing with <clears throat> mental health issues, they can go back and forth with their feelings. You know, sometimes you can feel as high as the sky, as low as the dirt, you yeah. know. And it can happen in within five minutes or so, you know, <laughs> you know, as far as with me as well. So that's kind of what I've been been teetering on that that, you know, seesaw, like, you know, I feel good one day and then the next day it's like, ah, you know, I don't feel so, so well. But what I've learned is that having that self-affirmation, that self-talk, self-talk is so important, you know, to, to your mental health and stuff. So that's kind of what I've been dealing with. So I'm still kind of, you know, rocking and rolling with it. So that's that's my chicken. How's your chicken? <laughs> um, actually, I have I've had a great week. I can't yeah. even I can't even pinpoint any days this week where I've felt down. Um, that that's not to say that that didn't happen last week, but I've kind of got into this space, kind of just like you just said, like when when those negative thoughts want to come and and tell me that you know. I'm not deserving or I'm this or I'm that or whatever they're telling me to really just focus on gratitude for one and, you know, everything that I do have going for me in my life right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think a lot of the times I have struggled and maybe you can identify with this mm -hmm. is that whole perfectionism thing and just realizing that, you know what, I'm not perfect. I'm not, I, this is perfect. This is my definition of perfect. Mm -hmm. And no matter how that looks to somebody else, this is who I am. This is what I deal with. And I've learned to navigate through that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, and being comfortable in my own shoes and my own space, you know, and I think that that's, that's the important thing is just really to be comfortable with you. And I think a lot of the times we struggle so violently with, you know, our up days and our down days is because we're yeah. expecting ourselves to be this perfect person. And no, you know, just like you said, you're going to have, you're going to have, you know, days where you feel high as high, and then you're going to have days where you feel low as dirt. Do yeah. I think that you can create a balance in that? Absolutely. But it, again, it goes back to those affirming thoughts and telling yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you are an amazing person and you're doing an amazing job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With 
everything that you've had to deal with, like you got to kind of tell yourself that like you're doing an amazing job getting through life. And I literally was telling myself that like this week, like you are doing an amazing job after everything that you have gone through and you're overcoming, you're doing an amazing job. Yeah, so sure. Don't be hard on yourself, you know? Yeah, it goes back to that, that self-acceptance. Uh, you know, it's like when you're talking about being perfectionist, you know, yeah, a lot of people, I think, deal with that. And even if you have a mental health issue or not, you know, I think just in general, people deal with that perfectionist, that that um, stuck, you know, you get stuck because you want everything to line up the way it's supposed to line up. And it doesn't happen like that. You know, like, I think I was watching something about Oprah. She was saying how the, the burning bush is not going to come to show you the the, the, the light or the, the way, you know, you have mm-hmm. to, you have to accept your situation, work with what you have and kind of keep moving forward, you know, and that, but I deal with that, you know, that perfection is like, <clears throat> if I want to put out a song or a podcast or a video, I do, it's like, no, nah, I'm not gonna put it out because, or, or I delete it because it's not, it's not good enough. Why I feel like it's not perfect enough, you know, but it's, it is going to be what it's going to be, you know, but it'll, it'll manifest in the greater things once you have that consistency of self-acceptance and, and not being a perfectionist, you know? So yeah. I, I, I feel, do definitely feel what you're saying. Yeah. And that's funny. Like, uh, uh, when you say like, you know, you make a video or whatever and you're like, no, nah, cause you don't like it, but who's yeah. to say the next person, you know, right. and, and, and you kind of got to look at it like that. That's how I started looking at it. Cause I've, I've done the same thing too. Like recorded all these videos and then delete them all. Right. And, and yeah. it's like, um, the ones that I really, wasn't even feeling do you know like I have the most views on no right. you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right. I wasn't feeling it but it resonated with somebody else and I think that that is that's the major thing is getting out of the way like removing yeah, yourself yeah. from the equation I think especially like with depression you mm-hmm. know like I really do think depression is you you're so focused on your situation your circumstance, your feelings, what you're going through, when if you go and actually serve somebody else or help somebody else, it kind of gets you out of that space, yeah. you know, to realize, you know what, I got a pretty good life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really and truly do. And I think that that's, I think that that's where I've struggled in the past is, you know, thinking that, you know, my situation is, conducive to me and and when you go out and actually see other the, the lives of other people or other people's situation it kind of changes your perspective on things sometimes yeah. you know yeah. especially when I know when I went through a <clears throat> I believe I came home in 2014 14 15 16 17 about a three or four maybe five year depression mm-hmm. uh run and uh and even in my own life I've tried to commit suicide, you know, four or five times in my life, you know, thank God I'm still here, you know, and it's like, um, I know that with what you're saying about helping others, like my first speech, you know, uh, well, first I had to fix myself with the depression, you know, Mm -hmm. I went through my classes, my, my therapies and, and stuff like that. And the healthcare center saw me doing so well, the place I go get treated at, they saw me doing so well, they invited me to go to Los Angeles to speak on their behalf. You know, so they paid the trip, everything. I got to go to Los Angeles speak. It was about, at that time, it was about 12 people at first. Uh But then when I came back home the next year, I'll never forget the date. You know, it's crazy how, like, the things you end up doing, like, you never forget the dates. But October uh, 18th, or October 19th, excuse me, uh, 2018, I got to speak in front of 500 people about my story. You know, so it was like. (laughs) it was like helping others, you know yeah. what I mean? Like share your story, help others. It kind of, it just kind of got me out of that depression, you know, yeah. but I had to put the work in myself right. you know? because that's the thing that I took. That's the thing about the mommy project with mental health. It's like the, it, it stands for my illness never defines me, but I go deeper into it. Once I try to figure out how I'm going to work it out, but like the M is the, the mentality, you know, you like, you have to want to be better. Yes. You know, you have to get to a point, even when you're at your lowest, the lowest, it's yes. like, you have to be like, I, do I want to be better or do I want to stay like this? Yes. And I got, and I'm, I'm a competitive person. I play, you know, minor league professional football, all that stuff, college football. So I'm kind of competitive in a way. So I was competing with myself, you know, yes. in a sense, like, do I want to, do I want to be better 
or do I want to stay like this? And I made a decision like, okay, I got to be, I got to get better, you know? Yeah. So you got to want that, you know, first, you know, Absolutely. I believe. Yeah. I, oh, I, I totally agree with that. Like mentality, like that's number one, you know what right. I'm saying? And that's, that's, that's what I teach, you know, my mentoring students is you have to change your mindset, you know, and that, and that's, that's a part of the self-love affirmation and all that other stuff, because you've been so programmed to believe one thing about yourself that you really got to talk your way and change your mindset, you know, and to believe something better for yourself, you know what I'm saying? Believe something better about yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I love that you said you are in competition with yourself because that's really all it is. You are in competition with that per that you who was depressed for, for a, a span of years. I mean, right. that's a long time to yeah. go through depression. You know, like, I mean, I've <clears throat> experienced depression and I've had thoughts of suicide, but I've never actually physically tried to take my life. Like, you know, when I had that, that dark day um, a few weeks ago or last week or whatever day it was, yeah. you know, like I was having you know, suicidal ideologies then, you know, like kind of like really preparing myself for death, like seeing how I was going to, you know, leave everybody, making sure that I had my will done, you know what I'm saying? Like making preparations and stuff like that. And, and you can get so low sometimes, yeah. you know, because you are, and, and a lot of mine was because I'm focusing on my outside circumstances, you know what I'm saying? I'm focusing on my bank account. I'm focusing on, you know, stuff that really don't even matter because- yeah, It doesn't matter, yeah. Right, because for today, I'm taken care of, you know what I'm saying? Like today I have a roof over my head. Today we have food, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm able to prepare food. Like, and I think that that's a, a major cause of depression is you're looking so far out into the future and it's like, we, we don't even have that time. Like right. that time is not, the only thing that really is promised to you is the day that you're in. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can be here today and gone tomorrow. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think it really is a mind shift. You have to, you have to change your focus. You got to change your mindset. And that's what it is. When you, when you look at it and say, you know what, I'm going to remain in today. Doesn't mean that I can't write my goals down. Doesn't right. mean that I can't have plans for my future. Doesn't mean that I can't pursue my goals and my dream. But let's just stay in today. Yeah, in you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because looking out in the future, yeah, it frustrates anybody. And, and it, I think, it brings anxiety as well. You yeah. know, scared and yeah. And I think that that's where a lot of people are struggling today because of, you know, like all the negativity and the news and hearing about what could possibly happen. And mm-hmm. again, that's out there. You know what I'm saying? That's in the future. It's not today. It's not happening today. Are you good today? Are you taking care of today? Right. You know? Yeah. And I, and I know uh, another big one is uh, comparison. Yeah. You know, comparing, comparing ourselves to other people's situations or, or other people's lifestyles or, mm-hmm. and <clears throat> I'm, I love social media, but sometimes it, it just goes hand in hand. You know, it's like sometimes it can make you, <clears throat> excuse me, feel great at one point and miserable at the next because you're comparing, you know, and what I've learned with, uh, you know, I even tell my a little short story about uh, Will Smith, you know, it's like men dealing with their own mental health. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I know that He's one of my biggest role models, Will Smith. You know, like since I was nine years old, I remember 1997 Men in Black came out and I was like, I want to be like that guy, you know, (laughs) been a fan ever since. But when I noticed even with the slap, you know, it was like he had a mental breakdown. That's how I feel. I think everything that was happening with Jada and everything that was happening in his life is like he just snapped. It wasn't geared towards Chris. It was just geared towards him having a mental breakdown. And And I noticed like, man, like, he's human, you know? And it was like that comparison. I was always comparing myself. I want to be like him, do what he do, whatever. You know, it's great to have role models, but just kind of take little things, increment, you know, with them, but just comparing yourself. But when I, when he did that, I was like, oh, okay. So, so he has, he has, a, he has, a, he's having a mental breakdown and he has mental health issues he needs to work on. Yes. So that comparison can vary. It can, it can kill us. Like not, not literally, but like just in the mind, like yeah. you know, diminish us, you know? I think that that's a reason why a lot of people struggle 
is social media. And that's why it's so important for us to, to know how to disconnect. You know what I'm saying? To like really turn it off. Like if you have to, like when I first started this journey, I used to deactivate a lot. Like I would deactivate my profile. Now I just don't even go on. You know what I'm saying? If if I find myself in in that depressed state, like, Mm -hmm. and this is probably why I haven't had a lot of depressed days lately because I haven't even really been on. You know what I'm saying? But, and even, and even being an entrepreneur, like, posting every day and stuff like that like because yeah you want to you want to make sure you're posting stuff but at the end of the day you come first you know what I'm saying like and you got to take care of your your mental health and and yeah I was kind of like getting overwhelmed even though it's almost time for me to take my my break anyway I normally do a, a sabbatical you know what I'm saying but but it's important for us to be able to disconnect because yes we are and while it may not seem like it consciously you know what I'm saying? You are looking at, you're looking at, especially like if you're single, you're looking at other people's relationships and yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it has a major effect. You're looking at, like you said, your idols and how they're living their lives and they're traveling. Right. And then you look at, you know, you like, oh my goodness, I'm trying to get there. I'm working and right. nothing's happening. And you know what I'm saying? Like, instead of just really enjoying the journey and right. just enjoying what you're creating, I think that I had to get into that space. Like, yeah, just yeah. enjoy what you're creating. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter if you get five views or a thousand views. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Just enjoy creating. And Ooh. I think that that's when it starts to to manifest. Like, your life begins to change once you're in that space of gratitude. Being like yeah. you said earlier, being happy for you know, just being okay with where you are and content with where you are instead of comparing your life you know knowing that um you know i'm saying you are working towards Mm -hmm. what you desire or your dreams and your goals but just being really content in that space and knowing that that person worked hard knowing that person worked hard to get there to to live that lifestyle or that couple you know i'm saying worked hard to get there you know what I'm saying? We got to realize that, that it took them work. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It took, it took them work. And, and that's, I think that's where I'm starting to get to, you know, and, yeah. and not really comparing my life to them, but knowing that I'm, I'm taking the steps necessary, you know, to, to walk this thing out and not being so focused on the outcome, but just really enjoying the creation process. Yeah. Enjoying the process. That's, that's, that's very important. I know I'm, still kind of struggling with that myself because I, I want every like going back to perfection thing you want everything lined up but it's like um even talking to my own uh therapist as well you know just she was telling me just enjoy the process enjoy the process you know she was she hit me hit me with this one thing she's like when you read a book do you uh do you skip the pages and go like look see what's happening and I was like oh no I just read the chapter a chapter she's like then why are you trying to do that with your life wow <laughs> and I was like wow okay. wow right right that's <laughs> you know? good yeah so I was like man so she was like just enjoy the process you know because like you said that's where you're creating that's where you're becoming mm-hmm. yourself that's where you're learning you're growing you know you're healing you know it's like yeah. just enjoying the process and I'm, I'm definitely trying to be in that 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 space you know yeah. so I'm getting there though but I, it, I definitely it's a process it definitely is a process. And, and this is the thing, like, I don't care how long you've been on this journey. Like you're, there are going to be days that you take a step back, you yeah. know what I'm saying? As, but as long as you're taking two steps forward, you know, we're going to take a step back. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we we're going to take a step back, but you know, you just get yourself back into that balance and realize, cause like I had to literally sit up there and talk to myself, like, what did I do in 2017, you know what I'm saying, to, yeah, to yeah. get me out of this space or to, you know what I'm saying, to keep me focused and, 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 and be able to manifest and be able to manifest that apartment that I wanted or, you know what I'm saying, what did I do? I had to go back to see right. exactly what I did, you know what I'm saying, because sometimes we forget, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, sometimes we forget yeah. what we've overcome and how far we've come, just like you said, like, you know what I'm saying, you went from 12 to 500 people, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, like, and in the process of healing, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's, that's where it's happening at, in the yeah. process of healing. So no, we yeah. don't need to be perfect. And I, I think that people need to see that, that imperfection, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because that's how they relate to you and, and say, yeah, like this guy gets me. 
or right. you know what I'm saying like um this girl gets me or this you know what I'm saying like I I resonate with that you yeah, know being authentic saying? to yourself yeah. yes yeah. yeah and admit your struggles like I mean because right. you covering it up is not gonna you know what I'm saying yeah I'm good no I'm not right, right. <laughs> yeah yeah for sure especially when you have like a safe space, you know what I'm saying? Like if you don't feel like you have a safe space, then definitely get you a safe space where you can, where, where you can feel comfortable, you know, right. with, with saying, you know what, I'm not okay today. Right. You know, there's yeah, like this thing okay on, to be okay. You know what they say? You said what? You know, the, the old saying where they say it's okay not to be okay. It's okay not to be okay, right. Um, and, and you know, like on, uh, I see this thing on Instagram where it's like, you know, red heart, if, red heart if you're not doing good or yellow heart if you're, you know, I don't know exactly what it is, but I want to put that up in like the description box or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, let us know if, if, yeah. if you're not doing well today or, you know what I'm saying? Like any word of encouragement that we can, offer or any assistance that we can possibly offer because like this is what we do you know like not only are we going through it ourselves you know and and healing from it yeah we might be a step further you know what i'm saying but yeah. we still have our struggles on a day-to-day -day basis too you know what i'm saying like this is not this not this not a race to perfection this is not a race to completion this is really you know, learning how to, to navigate this whole, you know, mental health challenge and, and being okay with, with your struggles. Right. You know what I'm saying? And knowing that, that just like you said, the Mind Me Project, it doesn't define me. Right. It doesn't define me. It's just a part of who I am. Mm. It's a beautiful piece of the puzzle. Sometimes it might be a little chaotic, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it really and truly is a a beautiful piece of the puzzle and learning, you know what I'm saying, learning how to really love yourself in the process of that, I think is very important. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we got about 10 more minutes left. We can definitely talk, talk about um, relationships and mental health right. next week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, because I think a lot of people are struggling in, in that area too. And I think a lot of people are remaining single because of their own mental health struggles. And then on top of that, to, to bring somebody else into the dynamic. Right. Yeah. And, and we can definitely touch on next week because I do have like two or three tips that can okay. help, you know, so, so just from my experience, what I've learned and everything like that moving forward, you know, so yeah, yeah we can definitely talk about that next week. Yeah. I agree. Um, anything else you want to offer? Any tips or um, resources? Can, or right. The last thing I can say is if you are in a depressed state or you feel lonely or you feel like nobody's around, you know, I, I learned this uh, even watching uh, Jordan B. Peterson's lectures, you know, it's like start where you're at. You know what I mean? Start where you're at. If you feel like you're unorganized, you feel like, you know, just life is a mess, just start where you're at. Just start in your room. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, I'm going I'm to pick up these little pieces of paper here, you know, or, or I'm going to eat breakfast. Or, I'm going to get up and take a shower. Or, I'm going to get up and, and read or, or something. Just do something little that kind of gets you kind of going, you know. So I know that that's what I've learned in my when I was in my depressed state at the time. It's like just do those little baby steps mm -hmm. and, and it'll, it'll work out, you know. Yeah. And, um, and for me personally, when I'm in the press state, I got to get outside and get some, get some sunshine or nature yeah. or something like that. So I highly encourage that because even if you're not able to muster up the strength to clean your room or to wash those dishes or to get in the shower, sometimes mm -hmm. just stepping out in nature for about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, really does take your mind off of it and gives you sometimes the energy that you need because mm -hmm. I know a lot of times when you're in a depressed state you want to stay closed in and in the dark and you want to just like crawl up you know in your little hole and disappear um, but you know being out in nature really does work wonders and it will give you the energy that you need to come back in to clean a little to yeah. maybe get into the shower 
to maybe fix yourself something to eat. And as always, if you are struggling with suicidal thoughts, reach out to somebody. Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't go through this journey alone because right. even though it feels like you're alone when you're experiencing depression, you are not alone. You know, Fonda and I are here. Find, you know, reach out to Fonda, Mind Me Project. He's on Instagram. All of those links will be in the description box. Reach out to me if you have to. DM me. Um, you know, we just really want to be, I guess, the people that we needed, you know, yeah. on yeah. our journey, you For know, sure. um, because it does, it gets hard, you know. Yeah, it's it right there. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah, it, it does. It gets hard. And if you don't have anybody, it's even harder. So, um, you know, let us know in the comments how y'all doing. Um, like I said, we're going to check in every single week. Um, I am really focusing on single moms because single moms go through a lot of mental health struggles too. So mm -hmm. y'all make sure that y'all, um, all single moms, y'all come join my Facebook group. It's absolutely free. I'm offering, you know, support, guidance, and encouragement every single day because I really and truly do want to be the person that I needed on my journey. And I know the reason why I didn't have that person was because I meant to be that person. So uh, yeah, you know, yeah. a lot of times um, we actually have to set the stage for that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, don't do this alone. You know, don't sit in your mental health uh, struggle. Don't sit in that depressed state um, to where you, you want to end it or give up because yeah. um you you'd be surprised who needs you. So yeah. yeah. Cool. You got any more tips or anything like that before we go? Uh not not at this point right now. All right. Well, um, we will be back same time next week. Yeah. Join us, come check in, let come us know in. how y'all doing. We want to yeah. make sure people get over um or get beyond. That's mm -hmm. what I say. Get beyond. Yeah your mental health challenges and really live more joyful days more joyful you know? days yes don't let it don't let it define you you know yes so. absolutely define it <laughs> right yes absolutely all right Fonda um okay. as always it has been wonderful all um right. and we will definitely talk about relationships and mental health yeah. next week we'll check in with y'all again next week y'all make sure y'all go out and have the most amazing day that you possibly can exactly. today. All right. All right. See you. All right. <laughs>